All right, they're on my butt coming around through there. I shouldn't even be yakking on this stupid thing, but I need to get these trees down. And it's a good little thing to share with everybody, so I wanted to share it. But I ain't really got time, so I'm gonna have to rush through this real quick. Ribbon, there's neighbor. Neighbor don't like trees. And it's pasture, I'm sure. So, and I'm by myself cutting and I don't wanna tie up two people. Here's a dilemma that loggers run into all times. So, okay, here's you got some poppers leaning back. Now, way I'm <clears throat> hold my camera down, look too bad through the camera, but in reality, they are a lot worse. Uh, poplar meat's kind of brittle meat. You got that going against you. And here's the other thing the angle of push needs to be from the back behind across this fence. We can't do that. Cable skitter pulling is the answer. No cable skitter here, and I don't want to tie up another operator. So here's what's going on. I'm on chance it. I'm going to uh, triple hinge that one. I'm on triple hinge that one. And the rest of these, I'll just put normal hinge in and cut them out with a bunch, you know, angle them out with a buncher. But uh, I'll throw my GoPro on real quick and uh, see how this goes. Might get to see me screw up and dump a tree on the neighbor. Now, time of year, the sap comes up. Trees get heavier in the top. So, you know, through the winter, trees are dried out. You can get cocky with them. They're, the top of them is not heavy. Your physics don't work against you so bad. You can get trees to do quite a bit of things for you in the winter. So what happens this time of year is you get through the winter and you're cocky, pulling fibers, pulling trees, get them to do what you want. Then the spring comes, sap shoots up leaves come on up above and there's all your weight up there and you start losing them you're like why am i losing trees well you're losing them because the tree chains on you <laughs> that's why you're losing them <laughs> but uh so i got that working against me but it ain't as bad as what it is in say may june towards the end of july it starts getting a little better because the water starts easing up on them it usually dries out a bit and then you can and by october you're back to slinging them like crazy again because they are light, thick as a feather up there. All right, here we are. We had to, uh, uh, this is our day two uh, on the uh, lime trees. Now, these first three trees I started into some pretty tough cookies here. Now, look in that one. I stuck a buncher in there. But look at that limb leading out to the, so he's going to be a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm going to put a little notch in him. The game started, so he fall a little farther before he finds up in there. But I'm going to cut him manually and just use what I knocked in there to butcher for a, a face cut or whatever. This one's bad. Leaning over there, <clears throat> it don't look bad the way I'm looking at the camera, but it's pretty bad. Another thing, I shot my saw yesterday at the end of the day after dealing with that old grumpy guy. And uh, today I'm starting out uh, with sharp chain, but forgot to run my rails. My chain's getting sloppy on the back blade side, and that white oak kind of done it in. Uh, and I need to run my rails. So I come across here, all the way in here, and get started. And then I'm gonna have to shut the saw right back off, run my rails. Look, I'm, I'm gonna go around this poplar tree, and I'm gonna start climbing. I'm a climbing as I go around. I can't. I don't know if you can tell or not. Boy, watching the video, but it's. Um, a buck is trying to bind on me. I start this in and out seesaw motion, but uh, yeah, that ain't worth a hoot. I'm getting aggravated. This vidya, I was pretty, pretty aggravated through most of this vidya. My fire flight's kicking in and uh, things stressful. Uh, and that's before I even know the neighbor was an, uh, uh, an astounding uh, uh, angry right, person. Ran rails. Yeah, we'll see what she does now, son of a buck. Should have done that yesterday evening. It was acting up yesterday on that veneer tree. Should have just fixed her yesterday and got it over with. Come on. So here I am going to finish her up. Get this one around, put the triple hinge in it. Er, I'm putting like a double hinge in it. I don't remember what I put in it, maybe a triple hinge, yeah. Put a triple hinge in this one. And uh, only on this tension side. 
And uh, I think I just left it. I ain't going to re-edit this. Don't get bored with me and change. I'm just going to go ahead and... So here... Look, it had a little back kick on me. Uh, so here I am. Uh, you know, you start up high and you come down low. And that's important because the flex has to taper from up high all the way down to low to keep it from ripping that wood off. Uh, if you don't triple hinge, when you start to fall, your wood starts busting loose. And you only have a big fat hinge for... Oh, uh, five to ten degrees max. Then it breaks loose and goes with the normal hinge, anyways. So not having triple hinge only starts you in the right direction. Having a triple hinge takes it all the way down about forty-five degrees or so for it. Oh, let's go. So it, <clears throat> so if you got a tree, you got to fight, keep fighting as it falls. Now that ain't gonna touch. Uh, uh, I'm afraid of touching. I won't get a machine behind him, even though the fellow much ain't got a. Uh, Heartbreaks, so to speak, on it for who, you know, but I'll get it to where it rolls up a good street. Use the weight of the machine to hold it. So I'm not going to cut him yet. <clears throat> I'm going to go down here. Yeah, I'm looking at him. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, Sam, I'm going to go down here. <laughs> Guess I got sidetracked here for a minute. Uh, and on this one, I start out with a normal face cut, but then I'm going to turn around and change it to a uh, Humboldt. And it's got a lot of side leaning, leaning back to where the bunch are sitting. That makes me a little nervous there towards the end of it. But, uh, there, I think I'm about to put it back. Nope, change my mind. So now I'm going to come in at the flat cut. And I'm going to go in a little bit deep with this. Get a little fatter on the tree on this one. Now come down with our humboldt. And uh, some of these trees I like to, especially poplar, a softer species, I like to use a humboldt when you're up against the fence and stuff like that to keep the butt in front of the stump. Uh, if, you're, you're hitting it, if you're cutting close to somebody's property line, I mean like within a couple of feet, it ain't the case in this situation. But if you're cutting like a couple of feet across the property, or on the, but close to the property line, you can do this humboldt because it throws the butt on the ground in front of the stump for you. So not taking a chance of it coming back, uh, you know, getting a butt, hitting something up in front, and the butt come up, and, you know, landing on a neighbor. You know, I know a few situations in the past, I wish I'd have used this before, but not in the cards, baby. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to set this one up and uh, finish it before I push it, because it's got enough side lean towards the muncher, I don't want to cut it all the way off before I get on that muncher. I'll shut the rest of this bid. Uh, this is going to be part uh, one, so to speak, of this. Uh, I got a whole other uh, part of this coming tomorrow. So, thanks everybody for watching uh, on my behalf later on. And I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I get aggravated, but I'm a little bit stressed out on this.
can't pull out my hole. Son of a fucking jump. Slimy ground. Slimy ground. Unless I get the pistol for get back into trouble. 